morning. Oh, welcome to our farm. Um, have we got a video for you today? So we've got a new piece of equipment that I want to show you that came late, late last night. Um, luckily, Ben was um, on farm to pick that up. I was out mowing and we've also got one thing that's even better than this piece of equipment and i am sorry to the manufacturer but this um this thing will make a lot of people this thing this per this thing we'll just leave it at this thing for now because i don't want to give too much away but you will you'll find out in a few just a couple of minutes really first thing though just on my check round we're gonna get in the daff and take some cow so i've just opened up the shed I'm gonna give you a little sneak preview of this machine. Right, we're on it. Um, we'll get back and then we'll see a bit more of this uh, information I'm withholding. But I'm calling into Ripon today. Yesterday, Ben went out in the 6210 and it always happens to Ben, doesn't it? The, um, he managed to get the mirror arm to fall off on the right hand side. So it's not like he even hit a hedge or anything and it smashed the glass and the bolts on the um on the mirror arm it looks like it's just had one bolt in there so need some bolts and a oh, mirror glass Sorted. so we uh we're gonna have to pull the lorry up a bit because we've got some other stuff to try and fit in here but i don't know if it's gonna go in so they've managed to load me up with grain tubes that weren't available when we bought the other ones so i mean they're in the shed now so they're just gonna sit in our shed for a year but anyway right, i'm back into the yard and that's the damage so the uh the bolt is actually zoom in to see it but it's sheared off um there you go sheared off in the center there i think i've got somebody who could probably fix that for us today who could that be that ball dead. It's Andy! Hi Andy. <laughs> Are you back on the straw blower? Yeah, you know I'm back, yeah. You know I'm yeah, back. he's already filled me wide. Looking after Ripper. He's done the shear bolt again! Twice. <laughs> Twice! <laughs> it's good to have you back anyway. That's alright, yeah. Maybe really? fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Looks like Noah's having trouble with this, um, getting this stuff out, and this guy's eating me. Lovely. Well, I think that'll make a few people smile at your back anyway, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> He's back in business, isn't he? Um, to be fair, these are very wet bales. You can even see there. Um, but but we've not managed to do a shear bolt, Andy. Um, the thing I want to do is um, now get them guys doing a few bits around the yard. I'm going to go off and finish the mowing that I was doing till late last night and then we can use that tractor that's got the mower on for the baler you see so then hopefully we'll be baling and at some point i've got to show you that machine but really good to have andy back fantastic time back i did i got my mouse case under warranty because my other one's fallen to pieces two years and it's sort of destroyed so we've got a new one free of charge well this here is the base that turned up last night. The Samash PT4 250. So we've had it on the pin and cone bracket so we can use it on the nine meter and get right up into the trees and lop off some uh, branches. We do need to make a few alterations so we need to just change um, the hydraulic pipes just to get, get them to fit. So we'll not be, not be having it on today, but this is it. What do you reckon, Andy? Good. You reckon, Noah? Weapon? Lethal, lethal. lethal. <laughs> we think, we've not got it worked out yet, but we think we're going reverse, which might make sense because then your branches are falling like... I think we've not worked that bit out yet. Because you can't, work, can't run it that way, can you? Because of this bar. And this side, I'll have to have a chat with Jake and he'll tell me all about it. But it's, uh, it's been delivered. Jake's in Poland at the minute. Going to some fancy show, but look at the motor on it. It's a weapon, it's built right. So we called Jake and basically we're idiots. Um, he didn't say that, I said that. Uh, there's a pin there that you take out when you get to the field and then that folds round 
So we're going forwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we thought we were going backwards, but no, you're going. We were saying as well, we reckon this is like drop off mode. Yeah. Get it on. That ram there goes out, and that should all slide across. It'll be centre of your machine to drive. Yeah, yeah, so you can push that out to the side so you can get like it further away from your machine, the, the debris that's coming down. So we were thinking it was going to be quite tight with the... We're going backwards. Um, so we were looking for the positives of going backwards. Uh, but yeah, you push it out to the side. This tilts up, up and down, and we've got a control box that Andy was messing about with somewhere. It's really hiding in there. Where is it? Oh, there we go. You've got a control box to operate it. So, when we get the fittings for that on a day when we're not busy, um, which will be in the next few days, we'll get this on and we'll show you how it works. But well, I think that's pretty impressive. You can have it on loader brackets, any type of JCB, quick fit, all that kind of stuff it fits on. And you see a lot on just loader tractors. Uh, when I was talking to Jake as well, it sounds like there's massive, massive, he's in Poland at the minute, massive flooding in Poland. An 11 meter wave has gone um, through because I think they've released some of the dams or something. So he says there's mud everywhere um, and they're looking for bucket brushes at the minute because they're just the cleanup operation is going to be huge. Um, so yeah, you know, hearts go out to the people in Poland that are, God, 11 meter wave, that is like some kind of mess, isn't it? Jeez, I hope that, you know. I hope that they got everybody out of the way. I don't know. Didn't go quite into detail with Jake, but um, he said he'd send me some pictures. So if I do well, I'll put them in the video now. So just imagine the trees that we'll be able to lock branches off that we wouldn't have been able to get anywhere near um, with the nine meter. We'll be able to just really get some down. Probably be able to get with TM to be fair, but. Um, yeah, so it might make it a bit easier. Nobody wants to be getting up in a man basket and a chainsaw when you can just do it like that with a machine and just keep on going. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see that um, see that working. Right, get my dome back on the roof and uh, I'm going to get this morning finished off. Right, let's get set off with this. Get some grass cut. I was in here yesterday mowing this down and it was pitch black when I left so there might be little bits. Hopefully it looks like I've not left loads of little bits. Two cock pheasants here. Fighting it now. Not doing much fighting now, are they? Stopped here and I saw these and I thought, look, that is the perfect sort of thing for that Samash blade. So you've, you've got like the wood side, which is back there. You've got these that are sticking right out can't get them with a hedge cutter really because they just probably just go out of the way. You just come with the Samash, take that back then, you've got the field back. On the 9 metre, or any telehandler, you've got the height to be able to take it back as well. So it would be really interesting to see that um, working. I can't wait to get it to get it all set up. Right, I'm not far off done in here. And then John Deere Mick can come, well, we'll rake it up. John Deere Mick can come and bail it, get it off, and then um, probably get it sprayed off. Right, I'm gonna head back to the farm now. Um, we'll get the baler put on this. I'll grab some dinner, and then Ben's raking up the straw, which fingers crossed by the time he's raked it up and it's got a bit of air through it, it'll be dry enough for me to head out with the baler and get that ticked off. So oh, that'll get it dropped off now, and we'll get the baler on. Adrian's back with the tedder. She's gonna get that backed in. Give us a wave, Adrian! <laughs> I'm just crossing fingers now that um, this straw's gonna be dry enough for us to bail. I'm off now, uh, the guys have got the baler on from it. We had a few issues with the isopus connecting to the to that screen, but we've got it on the tractor screen, so... Fingers crossed, this is gonna work all right. Right, so we got to the field, tested the straw, well, I've not tested it, but I felt it with my hands. It's not just where i'd want it to be but it's not far away from where i want it to be and we need to get doing something so it's going to get bailed up in a couple hours it may well be just right but um, we're, we're bailing it for ourselves we're using it ourselves we're using it straight away and it's not wet it's just not it's just not quite there but 
if I don't start now, then we're just, yeah, delaying everything. We've got loads of people waiting, so I'll have Andy, Ben, and um, no, we're just, um, we're not a great deal to do. We're just bits and bobs around the yard, so let's give them something to do. Let's get some bales knocked out. Look at this, what Don's had. Somebody's dumped a load of conifers in the fields. Water tower. Nice bit of graffiti. True full set you free, guys. I think that's supposed to be a greyhound. I'm guessing. So we're just going nice and steady up and down these rows, pumping out the yellow bricks. We could go a lot faster, but we could also run the machine a lot harder doing it that way. There we go, just eating them up. So we're getting the text messages through, I'm sure a lot of other people will have in our area about Blue Tongue. We're not in the uh, restriction zone. Um, I'm not entirely sure, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, I haven't had a chance to look up and read uh, up on it. But I imagine if you are in it, you will have been notified by AH, APHA. Um, if you remember months, months and months back, Dr Kate, our, um, our watcher from America and also um, expert in the spread of diseases did inform us about blue tongue and you heard it here first on the channel um, yeah I wish I was a bit more up to knowledge on it right now <laughs> as I'm speaking about it but um, but yeah it's uh, potential to be quite devastating to cattle and I think it's a sheep isn't it so um, yeah, be on the lookout. Uh, make sure you buy your secure. Uh, if you've got people visiting from other farms and stuff like that, make sure you're changing your boots and bits and bobs. Um, I'm sure all the information will be on the APHA and DEFRA websites for you to get a complete and scientific explanation, not one from a farming YouTuber. So um, yeah, that will all be on on there. But um, just be just be aware of it, guys just got to the field and he's flashing mentos at me the fruity ones they are nice them as well um so yeah, he's going to get this cleared once they're going to be like 20 bales so um yeah let's get this cleared i don't know if i'll go and bale some more or not we'll have to go and see what it's like there's noah uh terrible trailer positioning for him but um should be in the middle of the field, really. And he's facing the wrong way. But uh, he has got mentors, so we better be nice to him. He might, he might leave some in his tractor. Oh, we'll let him off. We're shifting the trailer now. Moving it up top. We're moving on now to the next field. Um, we're going to check some linseed straw that's up here that we are going to bale but it just depends what it's like. Um, it may be dry, it may just need another day to dry it off. I'm going to have a little check as we go past. Well, that's that brown field there, that's linseed. You get the seeds from it and you make linseed oil. But the uh, straw from it is some hella stuff like, it's like wire bristles, like you don't really want to do a lot with it. But anyway, we may, bale that you know because it does seem like it's not so bad combines rolling making a nice job of that so we check this barley and this is dry this so We'll get this mopped up. Ben's turning over um, some rows of wheat straw. We might get round to baling them tomorrow. And Andy is back at the farm. He's doing a mix and he's also having a go at um, sorting the pipes out for that Samash saw blade. So fingers crossed we can, uh, we can get on with that a little bit later this week. It's going down in here now, not many more bales left. Well, we're 
we're going to do a mix of engines now, and I have no chance of remembering all these. But um, it's our way on the channel, by the way, of raising a little bit of money for um, charity. So we do it for the Yorkshire Air Ambulance, and we've raised over ten thousand pounds so far. So it's a happy twenty-fifth wedding anniversary to Graham Barton, and that's from Diane. So happy, happy wedding anniversary to you. Two guys, well done, 25th, I think it was, 25th wedding anniversary. Now I need to go back and see who the others were. It is a happy 70th birthday to John Wright, and that is also love from your wife, Linda. So uh, congratulations on the big 7-0, John. And one more. Youngest of the bunch, 10 today, Freddie Corkwell. Happy birthday, Freddie. I hope you're having a great um, great time. I hope it's sun sunshine in where you all are today. And. Um, yeah, if anybody else wants to get their name on Mix Mentions, then there's a link in the description below. And um, it's quite difficult when I'm in tractor and I've got no pen and I've got to try and remember it from what I've just read and then remember to press record. Oh, you don't know what. And drive this at the same time. I did think that it was putting a lot of flakes in the bale. And the reason for that is that means that's always tripping. Always tripping, always tripping when it shouldn't. It should get a full one and then put it up. The spring snapped for this. And it operates the trip. Great. DNF man, I've just delivered um, that pipe for us, the tank, which is good because it's very difficult to see. And somebody's just dropped me that in as well. Right, it's more for my dad, but anyway, that's here. Andy's on busy um, pushing up. The milling. Tidy job. Right, I'm just letting Ben in now. He's feeding up. He's wanting to do it with a nine meter. We'll get these guys fed. Rare that we uh, see the nine meter out here in the field feeding, but it is. I'm talking about co coffees now. Andy wants a cold drink, and then I said I had a monster the other day. Kind of monster. All right. I always advertise on TikTok shop, like, big things and monsters. Oh, a massive, a massive can. It's like Red Bull, but like, you get three times You can get a massive Red Bull though now, can't you? Can you? Has anybody had Monster before? They were advertising at that. What was your Rockstar? Oh yeah, Rockstar, yeah. The one contacted me through email called Ranch. They wanted me to like, promote it. Oh, we voting already. No, I'm not, no, 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 I didn't think. It was like a cowboy thing, but I thought, not but I've just promoted it now. Oh, okay. oh, you found some? Oh, nice. Andy's found some tie wraps, so we're going to think about maybe fitting this um, this evening. Uh, if you've liked today's video, if. Um, are you coming tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> I know he's coming tomorrow. Uh, Andy's back for a bit. For a bit, yeah. <laughs> Two of my second project comes along. For the second project, which we will find out, obviously later on we're not going to we're not going to tell you about that right now but the, the lodges are up and running now aren't they yeah hire a boat yeah. rented out well yeah good um andy if he gets home tonight we'll put a link in the comments below to his um lodges there is there's a link in my yeah. yeah is it in the descriptions has it been in them yeah, I think yeah. that's yeah. all right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so um you can find it there what's it called lincoln lodge lincoln lodges lincoln lodges yeah. l-y-n L-I-N-C-O-N-D-A L-I Yeah I'm dyslexic anyway, mate It's in, it's it's in, in the, the description, description. Yeah. Right and If you want to see how they were done Watch my video Yeah exactly Bakes365 Check it out In fact you'll have a link in yours uh, So if we check yours know, out yeah, um, I'm not Oh sure here we go that. I'm not very good at these links and stuff Oh, Me neither <laughs> um, Press like Subscribe We'll see you tomorrow Bye